Hello, my people. Oh. The mother of Don Davis, Don Davis, mama of Deeper Life High School, don't come at all. Don't call um, Reno Mockery. Oh. He say make Reno Mockery leave him alone. No, oh. Reno Mockery leave Mama Don Davis alone. The, according to her, she said Reno Mockery. They threaten and say make he go, uh, uh, go for new uh, public. That is for newspaper. Go apologize publicly to Kumuyi, which is the general overseer for deeper life. Say make he go apologize publicly. I say like seriously. So my people, oh, the woman don't begin to cry. I say a lot of people don't come they threaten and mostly the deeper life people say. I go play the video, more gonna hear I'm may not be like saying I'm already nine they talk. He said they don't they threaten in life. Say somebody even still and say na on the twentieth, nine in Gokbai, which is yesterday. Today na twenty one instant that life. He said I seen they here so in BP don't hide. He said they even so another person can call and say ah ah the burial of him in Peking when I done Davis. Say he go use his hand burying in Peking. Say he go see pepper. The woman say he not they feel they sleep again. He know they feel they concentrate. He know they feel they do anything. He they fear to even go out to go, uh, 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 go her normal business. She know they feel go her normal business again because of the threat. Say this matter they caught. Say this matter they caught. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna hear this video because I don't want to continue to the talk. So my friend, I want to know, know this woman. Now her name is Deborah Okeze, the mother of Don Davis, the Deeper Life Peking where we say they molest for Deeper Life uh, High School. Uh -huh. Now her matter now be this. So make I play the video, make I hear. Friends, I bring you all um, greetings this morning. Please, uh, I won't have come out here this morning to do this video. But I have to because um, it involves life. It involves life. Yesterday I was at the court. The magistrate saw me. I was battling with breath. Please. But I will not keep quiet. I will not keep quiet and die in silence. My BP is very high. The threat is much. Nigeria, the world at large, the threat is too much. The threat is much, please. Yesterday, before the court sits, I wa I told the lawyer that I wanted to see the magistrate. The, that's the woman that is coordinating. They say I cannot see her, that she will soon come on stage to talk. Then after uh, the sitting, I told the clerk, Abby, that I want to see her. She said I can't see her, that she's doing another case. The threat is too much. Like somebody sent message, how was the burial of your son? You are fighting a church, definitely you will bury your child. Please, these things are killing. We cannot say matter is in court and I will keep quiet and die inside house. Then one Mr. Raynor, Raymond or Mokre, Raynor or Mokre, call me that I should go and apologize on national newspaper, apologize on TV. I don't understand what I'm apologizing for. That if I do not, anything I see, I take. To me, that is a threat. I can't close my eyes well. My BP is high. I cannot keep quiet and die in silence because of say court is on. So please, I have to come out here this morning and talk because I have to talk. Please. Please. The matter is in court. They should allow the court to take his own place. One Mr. Rain one or Mercury say I should go and write on national newspaper and beg. I don't know who I'm to beg. I don't know why this. The matter is in court. They should respect court order and let court take its course. This the threat is too much. Somebody sending me message, how was the burial of your child? If it's you, how would you feel? How would you feel when you get that kind of message? They cannot tell me to shut up when the parliament members are treating me anyhow. 
They cannot tell me to shut up when they are treating me anyhow. I not, it's not as if I have security or I have anybody checking on me. If I keep quiet and die now, this whole thing is over. That's why I came out. I wanted to see the chief magistrate yesterday and tell her, Madam, see what is happening. But I don't have space to. That's why I came here. The threat is mo much. I don't know who is Reno or Namankre. I don't know. It's, it's even yesterday they told me he was the uh, once federal governor or something or vice governor. I don't know. He should leave me alone. I don't have what he have. He cannot come and tell me to go and beg. If I don't beg, what will happen? If you kill me once, can you kill me again? I'm calling on America everywhere. You push, you help me beg him to leave me. You push, you beg the parliament member to leave me. The matter is in court. You cannot tell me to keep quiet. And this kind of a thing is coming. I will not have anybody to tell. Please, Nigerians, America, Canada, anywhere, please help me beg them. The matter is in court. Watch my videos. I have not mentioned these things. It is in court. But the threat is too much. You are fighting our geo. Watch what will happen to you. This will be fun. This are the, it's too much. The ones that our parents say should look at it. How will you feel when somebody wake up and, and, and you, or the message you see is, how was the burial of your son? How would you feel? And you say I should keep quiet. Why would the court tell me to keep quiet when you don't call the parliament member to order? Is it, is it quiet one side? Quiet should be on every side. Why would I be getting things like if you don't, if you don't go and beg them? So the other day, somebody said, before 20th, I will die. 20th is yesterday. I'm still here. Because God knows that I did not frame lies and come and tell. My son did not frame lies and come and tell. So that's what I say, let me inform people, please. Makure, leave me alone. I don't know you. It was yesterday I tried asking who is this person. I thought it's even Kumuji Song. They say it's one thing to governor of whether I governor. No, I don't know now. I'm a trader. I don't know this. I don't read paper. I don't know. I got beg, leave me. Don't tell me who I would to apologize. Let, don't tell me how wrath of God will fall on me. I'm not fighting God. I'm fighting, I'm, I'm fighting for my child's right. I'm fighting for, for those who cannot talk right. Is it that when something happens, nobody will talk? Why are you threatening me? The threat is too much. I tried to talk to magistrates yesterday. They did not allow me to see her. Nigeria, the world at large, the threat is too much. I, 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 I can't do anything freely. Won't I feed? Won't I eat? Please help me, oh. That's why I came this morning. My BP is too high. I've been lying down, taking drugs. I can't go out. The work I'm supposed to do, I can't do. I soak pap since three days. I can't get up and do it. If I get up, it's more time. Fear. I had been fear. Because of this threat, it's too much. Please help me beg people. They, they should leave me. The matter is in court. Let court decide. Please. Thank you. Thank you all. Rain or mockery, I don't know what's in be your own inside. I don't know what's in be your own inside. This matter they cut. Matter when he be say they cut, not gonna leave this woman alone now. Eh? Me for me, self, eh? The way are they are they even they see this whole matter. I was even expecting say by now. Do, Kumi, you support to, supposed to don't sign for this woman and his son. Kumu the general overseer of deeper life. He is supposed to don't sign for this woman and his and his son. He never open my talk anything. For me, eh, this kind of matter, eh, I don't just understand. I don't understand at all. The silence where we say Kumi you keep for this whole thing self, is not too good. And it's not too good. For me, he would have called this woman and his son. Send for them, send me they come deeper, like make it hear uh, make it hear from them. I know so go say eh, Nakumi, you say because in they very busy in a general overseer. No. This now in business, school now in business, now in, now in school, now in this thing happen. Even though they say in same team and university, but there are some kind of things where we say go happen. You as a father, as a general overseer, you go, they're directly involved to this whole thing. But since where this matter they go on, to me, you never open my talk. 
And the way be say, when on mockery, they open mouth, they tell, tell this woman, say, make you go apologize for national TV. I don't understand. Say, wrath of God go fall upon her. I don't understand. Human be no be God, though. Human be no be God. So I'm not going to leave this woman alone. May she, may, she, may she feed her family. May she take care of her children. We should not be all this one. Matter where we say, it's in the court. Now they, now they send her all sort of message. That person go open mat. Wake up in the morning. They tell a fellow human being, say, I had the burial of him picking. Which kind of thing be this one? My people, this is not funny. It's not funny at all. If now this Don Davis mama self, if not to even carry your picking, make you travel out of this country, go seek asylum. I think that will be better. Because this thing is becoming too much. I just they, I just they wonder how this woman they take up because she not go feel they work out freely now. She not go feel they do things freely. And I don't say this is our Nigeria. Nobody asks you what you carry, nobody send you. Even the government, they know even then she not even get security as she did. So so I bet not gonna leave her alone. Make this matter. I'm gonna leave her alone. I'm they threaten her again. I know they threaten her again. I think I'll beg on her. I have a wonderful day. This is Maureen Gisto. I beg, if you never subscribe to my YouTube channel, make you forward match. I beg. Thank you so much. Make you forward match. Go there. Go subscribe. For those of you that want to do Facebook. For my returning subscribers, I say God will bless you. Not too much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.